Blackmagic just announced the HyperDAC Shuttle HD. This is a video playback and recording device that fits 100% next to your ATEM Mini Extreme or Extreme ISO. And don't worry if you have an ATEM Mini, it will work also for you. So let's get started. Welcome to Tech Condo, the place where we talk about gear and how to so that your live streams will become more professional so that your audience will be wowed away with your video content. My name is Petra Verbruggen, and if you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe to this channel like a lot of you have done in the past because really because of you, I am able to make this video. Not even just because, but really because I bought this HyperDeck shuttle literally with your money by viewing, by subscribing, and making uh, donations, like for example, Super Chat. Thank you, really appreciate it. Now, this is a video that is actually a two-parter. This video, we will be talking about what is this HyperDeck shuttle? What does the hardware look like? What does the software look like? And we will be uh, playing some video, we will be recording some video, and we will also automatically connect the ATEM with your uh, HyperDeck. So that is something that we will be doing in this video. And of course, also my thoughts. Next to that, we have a second video that will be very much uh, devoted to another feature that is on this HyperDeck shuttle, which is teleprompter, which is actually my use case, why I have purchased this product, because I want to give great value to you. All right. so. In case you're wondering, this is the box, and I showed you just a few seconds ago. Uh, go ahead and pause the uh, video if you'd like to read a little bit more. This is the back of the device right there. So a lot of text right here. Uh, here you also have some information on how you can uh, use the transport controls. And this is the back. And of course, I will be showing that to you very, very soon in this video, as a matter of fact. All right. Now that we've done that, let's talk about the hardware. So here you have the HyperDeck Shuttle HD next to the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO. And as you can see, it's literally the same size. So it's really a very nice fit for your production. Very professional in my opinion. Now, that being said, um, it looks like it has the same uh, slope as the ATEM Mini Extreme. And it is really also with this rubbery uh, back, which makes it a very, very nice uh, setup. Now, as you can see on the front, you will immediately see this big jock wheel right here. This jock wheel really has three different options at your disposal. Now, which, which are those? First and foremost, you have the jock, uh, which allows you to have a slow scroll to figure out where you exactly want to start with the video playback. It is frame accurate. You can also press the scroll button. That will allow you to very quickly scroll through your video and uh, to figure out what you want to talk about. And if you want to play it as, for example, a, a a slow motion replay, then that is also possible. Then you just hit both these buttons at the same time, and then you can just say a little bit less than normal, and then you will have a nice slow motion effect for you. So this is a very powerful piece of equipment right there. Next to that, you will also see these buttons right here. Uh, of course, the standards, uh, play, uh, stop, record, forward, backwards, and last but not least, the clip mode, which allows you to, for example, loop one single clip, uh, inevitable. <laughs> That's possible right here. And these are not the only buttons that you see on front because these two right here are a bit hidden away because uh, the way that this product is oriented, it does not have a display as you can see. So it's actually showing you the display on the video screen and you do not want to have that when you are playing back uh, content. So that's the reason why if you press this menu button, you will see on the lower end right here, a, a menu pop up and we'll show you how that looks like in just a bit. And that set button right here is really to enter or to select a, a menu item. So that is the 
top of this device. Um, actually, the other, the only other side is this side right here, and this is where you find the uh, DC power adapter, a Ethernet port, which can be very handy because if you want to start a clip immediately, if you press, for example, camera seven on this ATEM uh, Mini Extreme, you want it to push that play button command to your HyperDAC. So that's possible here. You can also add a external SD uh, drive if you'd like, or you can use a SD card. And I actually have here the uh, AngelBird 256 gigabytes uh, card right here. There's an HDMI import and an HDMI output. And so this is a really a HDMI device and 100% perfectly uh, uh, a companion to your ATEM Mini Extreme. So let's start to hook it up and look into the menu. So I just connected this uh, HyperDeck Shuttle HD via a HDMI cable, via HDMI out on the HyperDeck to the ATEM Extreme and from the ATEM Extreme to the vMix production that you're looking at right now. Now let's start a video that I've pre-recorded earlier so that you have something to see once I'm also looking into the menu. So again, the menu is not a normal button. It's a, a button that you really have to press to see like I'm doing right now. And you can then use the jog shuttle to navigate through all of the different menu options that you have. So let's start with the first one and that is the record menu structure. So if I want to do something in the record menu structure, I have to hit set on the device and then I can just go down to, for example, Kodak and then press set. And here you see all of the codecs that are available in this system. For example, H.264 codecs. You also have the ProRes codecs or also the digital negative Pro mm. codecs. And you have quite a few of them. And last but not least, the teleprompter. So if you go back, uh, by the way, the teleprompter is a separate video. Now let's go back to menu and then you'll see trigger record. Now, trigger record is something that I cannot use in my in my studio. I do not have a camera that actually can trigger a recording or have, I don't have any general kind of a functionality. However, it is possible if you have it. Now, that being said, let's go one step further. Let's go back to the second option, which is the monitor uh, function. And it is very much dedicated to the teleprompter. And like I said, that is something for the next video. So I'm skipping it in this video. Then we have audio and you see here, audio is AAC, which is the, the Kodak. Um, because I'm using uh, the H.264 uh, variant of the Kodak, the AAC is just part of it. And in the meantime, you've noticed that the video is actually stopped. So let's start, uh, let's re go out of side of the menu, press play again, but play it one more time. So now when I've pressed it twice, it will be in a full loop in all of the videos that are on this card. And let's go back to the menu structure and go to the next one, which will be uh, storage. Now, if I press set again, then you'll see that we you actually have the possibility of having two kinds of media. A is an SD card or an S, uh, SSD drive. Both of them will work here on this device. Um, next up is USB spill. And that is really handy if you have this uh, HyperDAC unit that actually has four different um, drives in it so that it will automatically USB spill from one drive to the next. This is something that you cannot use if you do not have that particular multi-dock device, the multi-dock G10, uh, I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, that is this part right here. And then you have the last, but not the least, is of course formatting the drive, which we're not going to do now. So let's go back to the storage and then let's go to the next one. And that is the setup functionality. Let's say set again. You can change the name to something else. It doesn't make sense to have uh, 15 HyperDAC HDs uh, in your uh, system. So you, you might want to give it a meaningful name. Of course, you can set the language right here. 
um, which for me, English is the best. Date time uh, you can set as well. That is uh, totally fine. And that's also being used uh, for the naming of your file. And uh, then you got your software update, which is 8.1 at the moment, which is the latest and greatest. Uh, then you can set the camera ID, which is now standard A, but you can use this device, of course, also if you want to have multiple uh, cameras recorded. And uh, so you can say, oh, camera one was camera A, camera two was camera B. So you know which is which, all right? And then you've got your default standard, which I've put on 1080p25, which is a little bit of the my, my standard within the, the studio. And then, of course, you want to maybe set your shuttle max. Uh, now it's set to uh, 50 times, but maybe that is too much. And then you can just change it according to what you'd like. Then you you can set the dark the appearance uh, and your op or opacity. So I put it on. Wait, oops, sorry for that. Uh, the appearance to dark, but you can just also put it to, for example, light mode. So let's say set. And let's put it to light, set. This is what it looks like then. Eh, it's not my thing. Dark is the way to go. So let's just set it again, put it back to dark. And uh, you can set the opacity if you like. Um, I want to have readability, even though, yeah, it is kind of cool. And the last is, of course, the location, which is now bottom left. But you can also have top right or even centered if you like. Um, and then, of course, your network is now DHCP, but you can also set a standard IP address, which I typically always do because I want to know where I can find stuff. And I do not have a DHCP server if I'm out and about. So that is one of the reasons why I have that that way. And then there's uh, a lot of additional information that you can use. For example, the uh, the file name prefix is HyperDAC, and then the da the date is uh, set. The timestamp time stamp file uh, preset is there, uh, and uh, a remote source that you can just also use. All right, so that is the uh, menu structure on your HyperDAC uh, system. How cool will it be that if you press the cut button and you go to camera eight, that it automatically will start to play back a video clip. Well, it is possible. It's quite easy, actually. Let's go ahead and go into the ATEM software to show you how you can do that. And this is my laptop. So let's go ahead and um, fill in the IP address because otherwise I cannot connect to the HyperDeck Shuttle HD. In order to do that, you need to install the HyperDeck Setup Utility from the Blackmagic website. And this is what it looks like right here. So this is the purple icon. And uh, here you see um, the uh, connection. Um, now, let's click on that Setup Utility right here. And this is where you can find the network settings. So DHCP or static IP. I just filled in this one right here, the 167. And once I've done that, I just hit save. And basically that is all that I did right here. Now, once that it was done, uh, I then went to the ATEM software center, which is right here. And you would state that maybe it's a good to just click hyper, hyper drive or hyperdeck right here, but you can see it's not there. Uh, you need to uh, first connect to it. Now I did, purposely uh, enter a, mis a different IP address uh, before that. So let's type in 167, hit connect. It takes a few, few seconds and boom, a green arrow. So now it's connected. What is very important is that it's auto roll so that it will automatically start to play the, uh, the HyperDeck. Then hit save. Then you can go to the HyperDeck and here you can see that it's connected to camera eight, which is exactly what we wanted it to do. And here you can then click on this arrow and then select one of the, uh, the videos that you would like to see. And once you have done that, you're actually ready to go. So now all I have to do is, um, in this case, make eight uh, in preview, and then I'll just uh, hit uh, cut and then it will automatically start the uh, HyperDeck. Boom. 
perfect. Now it does not stop it. So that's something that you need to do via a macro or something, but definitely it is something that is really handy to have. Final thoughts. Well, do I like the HyperDeck Shuttle HD? Yes, I do like it. I think it's great. It's a little bit on the high side if you look price wise. However, if you look at what it uh, brings you, video playback, video recording, but also teleprompter. And that last one is actually the use case that actually made me buy this product. Again, thanks to you guys for watching my videos and giving me super chats. Uh, would I would I say that it's something for you? Yes, definitely. As a matter of fact, in the future, I am planning to go fully hybrid, where I am now almost 100% vMix uh, oriented. I will have a hybrid uh, functionality where all cameras will be going via the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO and also using the uh, Jock Shuttle for a teleprompter. That is my setup for the end of this year for a fact. Anyway, that's what I had in store for you in this video. Next video will be about the teleprompter. Please go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you like this kind of content and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.